When the morning comes, I watch you rise. There's a paradise that couldn't capture that bright infinity inside you. Good morning. We hope everyone had a great three day weekend. Hope everyone stayed safe from the snow. Hope everyone stayed nice and warm. Um, today is Tuesday, January 18th, 2022. I am Catherine Dahl. And I am Hannah Wright. Let's get started with our morning Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Attention all baseball players, there will be weightlifting today from 2.45 to 4.15 and tomorrow from 4 to 5.30. LHS students, please remember that if you are interested in the robotics club, they meet every Wednesday at 2.15. We are open to all students and students do not need to join to be part of the Army JROTC to participate in LHS robotics. The first Rainbow Club meeting of the second semester will be today at 2.20 p.m. in room B-115. There will also be a meeting for Comic, Anime, man and Manga Club on Thursday in the same room at the same time. Attention all students, the winter session of the Impact ACT prep program will begin next Monday, January 24th. Juniors, the program will run up to the in-school ACT March 15th and is a great way to prepare for the test. The program is also open to freshmen and sophomores looking to get a head start on preparing for their future. All students who complete the program will earn themselves $200. If you are interested, please talk to your counselor, guidance counselor, or see Mr. Newman in room C218 or Mr. Schleckman in the media center. Our next student council meeting of 2022 will be tomorrow in room B324 at 2.20 p.m. If you have any questions, please contact either Ms. Crothers or Mrs. Cooper. Interested in playing softball this school year? The time is now to prep for a great season. Let's get our body, mind, and skills into shape. On Wednesdays from 2.30 to 3.30 will be weight room, and Saturdays from 11 to 1 are open gyms. See you guys there. So we know it was said on the announcements already, but we'd like to say it here again. During fifth period last Friday, Lorraine High School students bravely held a sexual assault protest. These students expressed themselves and shared their personal experiences with the school, hoping to have their voices be heard. So we want to let everyone know that all staff in our school are mandatory reporters. If you're experiencing any form of sexual harassment or assault, please let anyone on staff know or any adult that you trust and they will take care of it for you. Even if it's not you and it's your friend or fellow peer that you witnessed or heard experiencing this type of assault and you want to report it for them, staff will not let anyone go without help. There are also officials going around the school today that you can talk to if you need to. That being said, we hope everyone gets the assistance they need and we wish everyone well. We will end today's show with a recognition of our straight A students at Lorraine High. There are again over 400 students who are being recognized for straight A's, honor roll, or merit roll. We are extremely proud of our students' success. Over the course of the next few days, certificates will be placed on lockers for those students that received the honors. If there is no locker number, we will leave the certificate in your third period classroom. And as a precaution with COVID, we will not be gathering in large numbers like before, but we are proud of each and every student effort. Keep it going Titans. And that's all we have for today. A quick reminder that you should take your Chromebook home every day. Make sure you wash up, mask up, and back up. Be kind and have a fantastic day and we'll see you all tomorrow. Go, Go Titans! Titans.